This video will discuss the size of soil particles, how these particles are used to determine texture, and introduce the structure of soils. There are three different sizes of soil particles. These are referred to as the three soil separates. The largest soil separate is sand. Sand has a diameter of 2 millimeters to 0.05 millimeters. Silt is the medium sized soil separate. Silt has a diameter of 0.05 millimeters to 0.002 millimeters. Clay is the smallest soil separate. Clay has a diameter of less than 0.002 millimeters. Soil texture refers to the proportion of sand, silt, and clay that make up the mineral fraction of soil. Soils are made up of a combination of the three soil separates. Soil texture impacts many things, including water holding capacity. Water holding capacity is the ability of soil to retain water for the use by plants. Soil permeability is the ease with which air and water may pass through the soil. Soil workability is the ease with which soil may be tilled and timing of working with the soil after a rain. Soil texture also impacts the ability of plants to grow. Certain textures are not beneficial to plant growth and certain crops have difficulties growing in certain textures. There are 12 soil textures, sand, silt, clay, loam, which is a combination of sand, silt, and clay, sandy loam, loamy sand, sandy clay loam, sandy clay, clay loam, silty clay, silty clay loam, and silt loam. Soil textures are determined by the percentage of sand, silt, and clay, as can be seen by this soil texture triangle. Use of the soil texture triangle will be covered in a later video. Soil textures can be classified in other ways. Using the field ribbon method, there are five textures. Fine textured soils form a ribbon easily. The ri ribbon remains long and flexible. Moderately fine textured soils form a ribbon, but it breaks into pieces that are three quarters to one inch long. Medium textured soils do not form a ribbon, and samples break into pieces less than three quarters of an inch long. Soil feels smooth and talc-like. Moderately textured soils do not form ribbons, and the sample feels gritty and lacks smoothness. Coarse textured soils do not form ribbons. The sample is composed almost entirely of gritty material and leaves little to no stain. Soil structure is the arrangement of soil particles into clusters or aggregates of various sizes and shapes. Aggregates that occur naturally are called heads, while aggregates that are caused by tillage are called clods. Soil structures form when a clump of soil particles stick loosely together. This can happen when plant, plant roots surround the soil and separate clumps, when the soil freezes and thaws, when the soil becomes wet and dries repeatedly, soil tillage, and fungal activity. Weak aggregates are then cemented together to make them distinct and strong. This happens when clay, iron oxides, and organic matter act as cements. Soil microorganisms produce gums during the breakdown of plant residues that can also glue the pets together. There are multiple soil classification systems including soil taxonomy, the USCS, and the AASHTO. Soil taxonomy is based on the appearance and properties and utilizes unique nomenclature. The USCS is based on engineering and geology and describes the texture and grain size of the soil. The AASHTO is based on engineering properties and is divided into seven categories. 
Soil taxonomy divides soils based on formation. Soils are organized in a hierarchy that starts with 12 broad soil orders and narrows to over 23,000 soil series. The USCS is the Unified Soil Classification System. It applies to un unconsolidated materials and is represented by a two-letter symbol. The first and second letters are G for gravel, S for sand, M for silt, C for clay, and O for organic. The second letters are P for poorly graded, W for well graded, H for high plasticity, and L for low plasticity. The AASHTO, or American Association of State Highway and Transportation Officials, classifies soil into seven primary categories, A1 to A7. Some of these groups are further divided into subgroups. The groups are based on quality for road embankments, subgrades, subbases, and bases. This is the chart used by the AASHTO. This video discussed the three soil separates, sand, silt, and clay, how soil texture is determined, and the structure of soils. It also discussed three soil classification systems.